Hello everyone. I just thought I'd make a new video update of what's been going on with my Honda Pacific Coast fuel injection project. Since last I did a video, I was trying to use a Honda VTX-1300C uh, throttle body. It turned out that wouldn't work because of the geometry of the throttle body. It took me quite a while to figure that out. So I ended up going back to the old Pacific Coast throttle body, actually a uh, Pacific Coast carburetor that I originally had on the bike and um, that I had worked on for a long time to modify into a throttle body and I finished it. So uh, I'll be putting some pictures up online, probably by the time you see this you'll photos will be up, but I have actually put fuel injectors into it. There's a throttle position sensor tucked in over here, kind of hard to see there. Um, and in general I, I have uh, put it together it's coming along. So, um, you know, I have sensors mounted inside the air box, the stock air box. I have fuel return line in for the fuel pump. You can see the fuel pump just sticking out right there from the plastics on the bike. Um, I just did a fuel leak test. I'm not seeing any leaks, so that's good. And I'm getting close to being ready to start it up for the first time. Um, you can see I've got my computer sitting here and a little fire extinguisher ready to go, just in case. Anyway, let's see what happens here when I push the starter. Ooh, there we go. That's the first time that it has rumbled to life since I pulled off the carburetor, which is sitting over there on that bench, and put in the fuel injection system. It's been a long time in coming. feels good that it actually might work. So now I'm going to have to start the tuning process to get it to run reliably on idle and then look at uh, running at different RPMs. And at that point I'll finish tidying up the wires with more of this kind of loop tubing stuff. And you know, the big stuff here too. All the excess wires will go away. Um, although a couple of them I'm still going to use. I'm going to put a um, idle air control valve on out of uh, VW or an Audi, one of these Bosch guys I've been modifying. Um, that's going to tuck in there somewhere to be able to have idle air control in the future. Um, but yeah, this is coming along pretty well. I'm pretty excited about how well it's turned out so far. And uh, hopefully the next video will either show this thing on fire or will show it running correctly.